This video is for our branch leaders and office managers. This will teach you how to run the standard report that you'll need when you do your quarterly coachings. If you uh, are here, actually this was the front side of uh, relocation, Relospec. So when you come into Relospec, you'll click on the referrals button and that will get you into the main screen that you're familiar with. Over on the left hand side, you'll see there's something called reports. You click on reports and you'll get a pop-up window. In this pop-up window, if you don't see custom financial reports, go up to the radio buttons and make sure that my favorites are clicked and then you'll see custom financial reports. Click on that and a screen will open showing you custom financial reports. When you're uh, in custom financial reports, you're going to want to click everything that I have clicked here on the screen. So we are uh, going ahead. I've done a printout of the screen, which I'll give to you in a PDF so you don't have to try to get that off of here. Once you've put everything in here exactly as we've put it, go ahead and click on generate a report using these fields. The next thing you'll need to do is this is called the filter page. So everything here is going to show up in your report. In the filter, you want to tell it, hey, what do I not want to see? So what you want to first filter out is you only want to see the incoming referrals. You don't want to see the outgoing. So filter and say, let me see only the incoming. You now need to put a uh, date range in. The easiest way to put a date range in is to go down to the bottom, highlight over this date formula here, and hit Control-C, and scroll back up. Look at the date received and hit Control V. Your formula is now in there and you can just go in and change the dates. So since we want to see a, a one year running up to the end of this last third quarter, you're going to want to pull from 10-1-2012 and you're going to want to see up until 9-30-2012. For me, I'm going to filter out one of the offices. I want to only see one office. That's just so the report will pull a little bit faster. For you, you won't need to do that. Your, your database will only pull your data. Then you come down and hit apply the filter. This will generate your report. This is usually takes a few uh, seconds for this to actually get generated. So we'll wait while RealSpec figures that out. And there's the report. So now we have the report, and you can mess around with this report and do anything while you're in RealSpec by clicking on any of these buttons. It would start sorting and looking at the different data. But the best thing that you can do and what you'll need to do for the coaching reports is come to this download button and left click on the download button. And then what you'll see is a CSV file opens up, and this is the data in almost an Excel format. So you can open up your, by double clicking on the, uh, on the files, that'll show you uh, actually what's in them. And now you have your data here. As you go through things, you'll see if you wanted to see what type of referral it is, you'd come over here to the sort filter and hit sort A to Z. And now this is going to sort and all your AGRs are on the top. This would be a good place where you would want to say color code just the listings. So you may want to come in, start color coding your listings. So look at the uh, look at your listings. These are these are listings, and now you'd come all the way down to the bottom and find the bulk of your listings, which are right here. And now you've got listings are all color coded. You guys will work on this in your shop. So finally, before uh, you come to the, the meeting on Wednesday, hit File and Save. Hit Save As, and you're going to do two things. First of all, you're going to put it on uh, wherever you'd like to put it. Um, I suggest putting it on your desktop just for, for now. We'll, we'll give you files and everything, every place to put it. So I would say Desktop. I would call this my uh, fourth quarter. 2013 coaching 
And now see where it says it's a CSV file? Go ahead and change that to an Excel workbook. And now you've got it loaded up as an Excel. You hit save. You can go and double check, right? Look on your desktop. Make sure that you actually have it. There it is right there. So you've got that, and now you can close everything out. That's how you pull that. That's the information that you're going to need, and bring it with you to the uh, meeting on Wednesday.